Hello, my sweets. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. I am back up here in my Wake Forest store because I went to both my Dollar Trees in Henderson and they had nothing. And I got frustrated and just got in the car and came up to Wake Forest. And look, they have some Power Stick Pure Instant Refresh Dry Shampoo with matte finish and no sulfates. That's the classic scent. Then they have this one, Refreshing Dry Shampoo in the Floral Scent. And then they have um, Dry Shampoo in the Tropical Scent. Wow, that's pretty nice. I see some new conditioner by Spas Faso, Moroccan oil, Argan Oil Conditioner. Why do you always have the conditioner and no shampoo? Power Stick Grey Guard Conditioner. What? Look at this, y'all. Hair, skin, and body power stick. Um, sorry. Soften and brighten Grey Guard Conditioner for gray, coarse hair. What? Oh, my God, y'all. I don't know if I should try this or not. Grey Guard Conditioner for gray, coarse hair. Y'all know I got gray hair. I don't know about coarse, but... Wow. The dry shampoo. Okay, let's keep looking. Have you ever seen the blue one, the Irish uh, Spring, the classic? We've seen that one, but I've never seen it in the blue. We got Lever 2000 here. Zest. Zest. Wow. Hello, my sweets. Happy Saturday to everyone. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this video. I am back today to share us another, but this time it really is a small Dollar Tree haul. I only found a few items, you guys. I told you my, my stores are kind of like in betwixt, whatever that means. You know, they're just like the Halloween and the fall stuff. That's pretty much it. I'm hoping to travel a little bit next week, like go up to see my sister in Rocky Mount and visit a few stores up there. But welcome, welcome all of my new subscribers. Thank you all so very, very much. I love you guys. My ride or dies, y'all know already how much, how I feel about you. So we're just going to stop all the jabber jawing and jump into this haul. Okay, okay, as I always say, there's no order. There's just hodgepodge. I just, you know, grab and go, grab and go. I bought another pack of the elastics, the 600 count from the Dollar Tree, which is the same ones I used to braid up my hair the first time. I have plenty left, but I don't want to run out because I typically use two um, rubber bands per braid. So I just went ahead when I saw them and I bought another pack for $1.25. That's a really, really good price. So I got those. And I had been seeing these in my store a few weeks ago, you guys, and I saw them on everybody else's hauls. I wasn't, you know, all that interested in them, but I went ahead and pulled the trigger and just went ahead and got them. These are the, what is it, Tatiana. We got the Tatiana small Puma stones, but I would never pay $1.25 for those little tiny ones, but we never did get the larger ones in my local stores, and I don't remember seeing them in any of the visiting stores that I went to. They probably were sold out, but my store had these, the nail filer, Made in Germany, Tatiana, um, what does this say? 53 through 90. I don't know what all that is, but anyway, it's Essentials, Tatiana, and it's made in Germany. That's the nail filer, and I like a few of these around the house other than the other ones that I use, so I went ahead and got that. I picked them up the first week we had them, and I put them back. I was like, eh, I don't really need them, and I'm really, really enjoying the... the um, the utensil that I'm using to keep my feet clean. So I didn't think I needed another one, but I went ahead and got this one as well. This is again, Tatiana Essentials. This is the foot scraper. I know that my little ring light showing again. So when I put the lights on, you can see my ring light, right? Ugh, I hate that. But anyway, there we go. So I went ahead and got that. Um, I'm going to try it. Some of the the little Puma stones, things that, ooh, you can feel it through here, y'all. It's real rough. Sometimes when I buy these from the Dollar Tree, they're like a one-and-done deal. 
just a one and done deal. They look so good. They look like they're going to work so well. And they do one time. Then you either can't clean them or you can't use it again. So we'll see because I thought I was buying some really good ones before. And like I said, they were one and done, y'all. One and done. And I found these. Um, next one is Skip the Spa. I've never heard of these before. These are makeup remover wipes, cooling aloe vera. This is the first time I ever saw them. You get 25 wipes in here, and it just says skip the spa. So I never saw that one again. It looked like a really pretty package. I didn't open it to get a smell or anything, but I didn't really care. I use them anyway, so no, it's not not no smell really. Eh, not really a scent. Smells clean. So, yeah, I thought I would try these. It's the first time I saw those. Skip the spa, y'all. Skip it. Skip it. <clears throat> like I paid him my money. <laughs> not happening. Oh, my God, y'all. This, I think I showed you in a walkthrough before this video. If I don't put them together, I'm not quite sure yet. But this I found along with um, some other Power Stick products. I did not get the other ones. I just got this one. This says Power Stick Hair, Skin, Body, Soften and Brighten Gray Guard Conditioner for Gray Coarse Hair, Sulfate Free, and it's a 6.5 fluid ounce. I think I put this on my um, community page to show you guys. Y'all see that? I was like, what? <laughs> I was trying to read the directions. It said, Power Stick Gray Guard. Conditioner made just for gray, blonde, or white hair. Removes brassy yellow tones and boosts healthy shine. Aloe vera locks in moisture, hydro hydrolyzes weak protein, adds volume and glycerin, softens coarse hair. Formulated to tame your inner caveman. Okay, okay, okay. I did. It's no seal on it. It's open like this. I tried to smell it. Just has a clean smell, you know, but I thought I'd give one a try. I don't know. I'm buying all these conditioners and I'm not seeing the shampoos, but when I go online, I see the shampoo and the conditioner. So right now it looks like we're just getting the conditioners, but I did go ahead and get one because I thought that was pretty cool. And the next item in this one is the Ioni Everlasting Lash Glue Liner in black. I was like blown away. This might help me put on them eyelashes, all them eyelashes that I have, y'all. Look at that. I was just like, oh my God, it is in black. I know you can't really see it up there, but it's an um, it's kind of like a mascara wand to put on your um, lash glue. And I was just like blown away. I was like, what? Now this is with all the Ioni. They got like two different um, displays of Ioni. I forgot electric or jungle or something. I don't know. But they got two different displays in my, in my local store. So I don't even know which one I got this from. But I might have just got this from the um, makeup aisle. So it looks like this. And you open it up. Ugh, let's see. Oh, oh, okay. It's one of those. All right. So it looks like this. I thought it was like more like the wand, the mascara wand. That's what I got all excited about. But it's about the same as all the other ones. But, you know, it's it's lash glue, y'all. It's different. It's lash glue. So I was like, okay, let, let's try this. So I'm trying to see if I open that right. Yeah, because I don't want to mess that up because I do want to give it a try, but it looks like this, and I thought that was pretty fabulous. Okay, moving right along, this is just um, general stuff. I found these little gemstone stickers in the Crafter Square of the Halloween section, and I just thought they were so cute, just specifically for that purple. Y'all see that? And it's a whole sheet, and I already have the black ones like this, so I know I can do something with this or bling something out in my favorite colors. So I saw that purple and the orange is just as pretty as far as I'm concerned. But it, it's in the Halloween section with the Halloween stickers and stuff. So it doesn't, oh, 504 pieces you get in here. 
And y'all know how I love to bling stuff out with these stickers. So sometimes you do need to um, reinforce them with some glue. So some will stick and some won't. But if you pull the whole strip off at one time, you'll have a better chance of it sticking. But, you know, y'all know how to play around with that stuff. Okay, the next item is I finally um, replaced my oil canister. I have the oil and the vinegar one. And I've had them for... I don't know how long, you guys, but my vinegar top, something happened to it. I don't know. It just won't stay on. So every time I go to use it, it can be a little, you know, bit of an accident. So I finally um, replaced it and got me a new one. And this top, this top one here is nice and tight. So I hope it'll stay like that because I had them for a long time. And for I bought mine back when they, everything was still a dollar. So hopefully this will last for a little while as well. I also picked up a few of these just to help me. I have some fall buckets over there that I'm going to be putting some fall foliage in, making up little. So I got one. I need two more. So I picked up one of those while I saw it. I did go back and get me another one of these um, little ramekins, the fall ramekins, because I'm just so on the fence about, you know, the possibility of them coming out with the same stuff, but with Christmas motif on it. So I don't want to overdo it. So I figured if I had two of the loaf pans and two of the ramekins, I could make up some really, really nice little, um, you know, banana bread, sour cream pound cakes, and take them out of here, wrap them in cellophane, and then put them in the gift boxes to give them away as gifts. So that's just an idea. We'll see how it works out. This just says Farm Fresh Fall, and I like this motif. So I went ahead and got that one and so I thought that was really pretty so I have two of these and two of the loaf pans so let me move that remember yesterday when I told you guys that I went to both my Dollar Trees and they were just so bare that I just got in a car and drove to Wake Forest well when I got to Wake Forest this I mean I got there just at the nick of time because these were on my wish list um, these are some of my wish list items. And when I got there, they had four boxes that they had put out. And when I got there, this was all that was left. The pumpkins on a stick. I was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. I mean, they had a, more of the orange ones left, but the, only one of the mauve or pink ones and only one of these. And this was the one that I really wanted. And this one. I really didn't even know they had a pink one, but I was happy to have found at least three of them because I wanted just a few of them, but I grabbed three of these pumpkins on a stick. Those containers, those um, boxes, they were big boxes too, y'all. Four of them, empty, except for orange. And these two were the only ones left. So I was really, really happy that I just instinctively got in my car and drove down to Wake Forest to find my wish list items. You know how I feel about that. I did go back and change my mind again. Y'all know. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Sometimes I just think I like wasting my dollar twenty-five. But I went ahead and got one of the packs of the cupcake picks, the 20 piece. So I did end up getting the sunflowers for some reason. They had the acorns, the sunflowers. And maybe pumpkins. I'm not really sure now. I think it was pumpkins. But I ended up getting the um, sunflowers because I just thought they were really, really pretty. You don't have to use these as cupcake picks. You can use these um, for all different things. So I got, and it's 20 pieces. So I got one of those. And this was another one of the items that was on my wish list that I was hoping I would find. They had two motifs. I think I show you in the previous walkthrough. If I put it before this video or I put it with this video. I don't know yet. Y'all know me. I'm fickle. Anyway, this is so cute. I loved it. This says, hello, Autumn. Y'all know I always say that. Hello, Autumn. But I think what fascinates me the most is the beads. I don't know why the beads just make me happy. They just do. You know, it's just that little added touch for that extra quarter, I think, you know, that makes me a little bit happy. But I love those ball colors. They had another one that said, Oh boy, I'm not really sure. We're going to have to go back and look through the walkthrough. But this was the one that I chose was the one that says, Hello, Autumn, with the little beads and the jute string. And I just thought that was so cute. You can't get a whole lot of stuff in there. I have a mail uh, holder right there on my door that looks like this, but it's much bigger and it's 
you know, it's for all year round. So I did get this one. Okay. My okay. little ring light from the Dollar Tree is going dim because I didn't charge it up. So if the lighting has changed, that's why. But let's move right on because I'm almost finished with this haul. I was looking for some crackers because I thought I had rich crackers here and I had given them away to my sister and I forgot. So when I went to the Dollar Tree, I picked up these Monet vegetable entertainer crackers. Y'all don't sleep on these crackers. These are so good. I see Thrifty Tiffany showing these on her channel all the time. And she's always raving about it. Well, honey, let me tell you, she ain't lying, okay? These are such good, light, buttery, crispy crackers. I like them better than the Ritz crackers. I was like, oh my God, these are so good. In my store right now, they have the sesame ones and they have the vegetable ones. And of course, y'all know, I went for the vegetables. I love to put cream cheese on this. I love to just, you know, eat them by themselves or eat them with my soups. These are really, really yummy. Their expiration date on these are December 12th of 2022. But yeah, if you're look, having a party and you want to be a little fancy, y'all, don't sleep on these. I'm telling you, they are delicious. This will definitely be a rebuy for me. I'm letting you know right now, even before I do my talk trash video, okay? That's going to be a rebuy for me. Also, when I cleaned out my refrigerator the other day, I had to throw away almost a whole container of my unsweetened almond milk because it had expired. And I knew when I bought it, it had a very short expiration date, but I was hoping that I would use most of it before then because I cook with it, you know, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, but I haven't been eating stuff like that, you know, lately. So my milk was just kind of sitting there and I only want a bowl of cereal when I don't have a bowl of cereal. Y'all know what I mean? <laughs> I'm serious. You ever do that? You you get this hankering for something only because you don't have it. But as long as it's in the house, you don't want it. I don't want a bowl of cereal. Anywho, my milk expired and I had to go to three different stores before I could find an unsweetened almond milk that had a longer shelf life. I finally, the last one I went to in Wake Forest, I was able to find one that's good until February 17, 2023. All the rest of them expired September 24th of this year. And that's actually my deceased brother's birthday. But I digress. But yeah, all the other stores that I went to, the small one, the large one, and the first one in Wake Forest, all their unsweetened almond milk expired on September 24th, 2022. So I finally found me some unsweetened almond milk just to have it in the house. Y'all know my appetite has been crazy, so... I'm just not able to eat a whole lot of stuff that I was able to eat before. So my stuff is just kind of sitting there. That's probably why I had so much, so much throwaway the other day when I cleaned out my refrigerator. Anywho, I took Okay, the okay. last of the, the food items, y'all, I did go back. Like I said, yesterday, I went to the small Dollar Tree first. And that was the only Dollar Tree so far that I was, uh, that I found the, Devil's Food Cakes, I just showed you guys this in a previous haul, but I did go ahead and pick up two more for my sister, because I know she loves chocolate cake like this, so I like to have stuff like this in the pantry, because the holidays are coming up, and I don't know if I'm going to get any cake orders, but I got one for her, and this is going in my pantry, and again, their expiration dates are... Um, December 17th, 2023. So you got over a year on these. And they just make that cake look so good. But um, what was I getting ready to tell y'all? I'll tell you, I'm getting old. Oh, I was getting ready to say, I looked in, I went to four different Dollar Trees and only one other Dollar Tree did they have the devil's food. And I don't, I can't even remember which one it was. But yeah, the other ones didn't even have it yet. So, and... This one quick t-shirt I'm going to show you before the thumbnail. And this is a really, really nice pink t-shirt, long sleeve. And this is in an extra large, oh, 2X adult t-shirt. And I absolutely love, love, love this color. So I got this for $1.25, y'all. You just cannot go wrong. They have so many t-shirts in all of the Dollar Trees right now. It's just kind of scary how they're just like flooding the Dollar Tree with all these t-shirts. But there are some good finds in there. If you have the time to stand there and dig through it, you can find some good stuff. So anywho, 
This is what I have in my thumbnail. This, I think it's from Easter. It's bunnies, y'all. It's a family size, limited edition, made with real Reese's peanut butter, and it says sweet and, uh, sweet and crunchy corn puffs. I had two of these in my basket, but I know already I can't eat these, and I kind of starting to feel a little bad about giving my sister all this junk food, so I took one out, and I only bought one. So maybe she can share it with somebody else. I don't know. But I used to be able to sit and eat cereal like this just in a dry form, like a bowl of popcorn. But I can't eat anything like this anymore, which I'm not mad about it because, like I said, you know, the weight's coming off. So I guess this is the way it's got to be. So, But I was surprised to have seen this. I've seen two other kind of cereals floating around out there on other people's hauls. But this is what I found so far at my local Dollar Tree's, and that was in Wake Forest. So... But that is it, you guys. That is the end of my small little Dollar Tree haul. Hoo, hoo. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. It's been a cloudy, dreary day all day here. And, eh, you know, I'm just pilling around the house. Um, I do have a Talk Trash video coming up soon for you guys. But I lo love peace and happiness. I hope you guys enjoy my content. Once again, thank you to all my new subscribers, all my ride or dies. Y'all know, we right here. <laughs> But love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Help me grow my channel, you guys. Thank you, everyone. Y'all have a blessed weekend. Bye, guys.